Hey what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 12 of Skill Into Glory and uh, we're going to be starting off by going into the first game of the episode and we come up against an opponent with 55 chemistry, 4-5-1 formation and it was pretty much a goal team but not really the greatest chemistry as you probably noticed but uh, it was actually him starting off after 2 minutes already with Miroslav Klose, a big big chance to give him the early lead. But uh, luckily for us anyway, it went wide then. Uh, we got a free kick there with Osakoop. If we put that one in, we would have completed the challenge. Unfortunately, it went over the crossbar. Then uh, a couple minutes later in the 20th minute, we hit the post there with Phillips. We couldn't get the rebound in with Sifji. And uh, we already had some, some big chance at the start of the game as well, just like my opponent had. Uh, you can see as well here with Osakoop, some awesome skill. It's a nice rainbow flick and we hit the crossbar again. Really been unlucky when it came to finishing off our chances in the in the first half. But then in the 45th minute, we went through there with Sifji. A nice hocus pocus. We go for a shot. We hit the post again, but this time it went in. And uh, we do pick up the first skill goal as well. And also another goal there with Sifji, which I believe is his fifth one already. But uh, anyway, we move it into the second half. And from that moment, my opponent just decided to play it around the back. I seriously don't know why people do this. Because this guy was 1-0 down. And you can clearly see that he was sort of time-wasting. But you can see he completely failed. We picked it up with... Phillips I tried to go for a fancy shot kind of failed I don't really know what was up with Phillips uh, I held the, the, the LT uh, button but for some reason he went with a normal shot anyway we'll make it 2-0 shortly after that again I tried to go for a fancy finish with a uh, safety uh, for a back wheel shot or something but just ended up being a tramp goal and uh, we do make it 3-0 and after that again, he just decided to tie waste again, play it around the back and just try his best uh, for not me to score more goals or something. I don't really know why. And you can see as well at this clip in the 90th minute, I do believe, um, he actually passed it back to his goalkeeper and then he rushed forward. Now... I thought, you know what, I'm going to set some pressure with Sifji because I needed one more goal with him uh, in order to complete his hat-trick. And we actually managed to get the ball right there. I probably should have pressed B right there because you can see his goalkeeper got the ball back again. If we put it into the back of the net, we would have completed the challenge. Really, really dumb for me to actually not press the B button. But uh, we end up winning the game 3-0. Uh, so, um, yeah, I was, uh, I was happy with the result. Anyway, we move it into the next game. We come up against a 4-4-1-1, sort of a Turkish League side uh, with mainly Turkish League players. And uh, we get things started off in the fourth minute on the right-hand side with our Turkish player, Osya Kup. Some great skill moves, trying to go for a near-post finish and a good, good save there from his goalkeeper. Then a couple minutes later, from a corner, we managed to get a volley in with Erdogan. Probably would have gone in, but again, his goalkeeper was there with a nice save. But we picked up another corner. This time, we crossed it in. We get a header in with safety at the back post, and we do make it 1-0. And we also uh, pick up his final goal, the seventh one already. This, this guy is just a goal-scoring machine. I'm just going to tell you that. He's really low-rated, but he's so good that actually uh, finishing off his chances especially uh, for such a low rated guard as him but anyway uh, we move on here 30 seconds minute again safety on the ball though with some skill moves we cut in there with the McGeady spin we go for a weak foot shot and we put it into the back of the net to pick up the second skill goal in total we've only uh, scored a couple which uh, I was kind of surprised with because of course this whole series is based on skilling we haven't really scored that many skill goals so far so uh, that was definitely something I wanted to uh, to improve in this game. And you can see right there, where, again, we were very, very close with Erdogan. Could have been a nice goal. Then uh, we jump to the second half, straight from kickoff again with some skin was with Erdogan. We played on through to Nader Sifci. And I think at this point, we only needed one more goal with him to actually uh, get the hat trick again. We were very, very close in the previous game. And you can see right there, I tried my best to put it into the back of the net. But I think he got deflected by the defender. Therefore, an easy save for his keeper. Then uh, 70 minutes. Again, uh, Sifci on the ball there with two McGeady spins. Uh, we beat one defender, then we beat another one. We go for a shot and we put it into the back of the net which means we complete the challenge which is a score hat trick with Sif and now we also picked up another skill goal so I was really really happy with that one then in the 90th minute we have Matt Phillips on the right hand side cuts in with a spin to a ball run then an outside foot finish to make it uh, actually 4-0 and pick up the fourth skill goal as well and uh, you can see as well we also won the fifth game which is awesome which means we complete another challenge so uh, overall a really really good game um, if you look at the stats we completely destroyed this guy he basically had zero chance and uh, yeah, it was just a more than deserved win. Uh, then we move it into the final game. I decide to apply a squad fitness card to the team since most of the players were low on fitness. And then uh, we go will be the final game where we come up against a Premier League team in the 4-4-2 formation. And uh, it was actually uh, my opponent starting off there from a goal kick. He actually messes up. We pick it up with Erdogan. We cut him with a spin. I tried to pull off a rainbow flick there, but for some reason the game didn't register it. I probably did it a little bit too quickly, but nonetheless, we do make it 1-0 after five minutes. Then uh, in the 18th minute, we have Phillips on the right-hand side. We 
go with a nice skill move there to beat the defender. Then we cut in with the spin. We go to Rainbow Flick to beat the defender. We go for a volley, but unfortunately his goalkeeper saved it. And that was also still a challenge we needed to complete. It was the one I tried to complete in this game alongside the other skill goals we still need to score. And you can see right there, we actually went on one here with Sifji. And we put one into the bottom corner to actually complete the final one and to make it 2-0 in this game as well. So uh, really, really nice start to this game. Then a 31st minute, again Phillips on the right hand side with the pace, a really nice run to beat the defender. Then uh, we cut in there, again we go with the rainbow flick, the advanced one, we go for a volley. This one went over the crossbar, which also got deflected I think by a defender and uh, therefore we actually picked up a corner. Uh, we went on a skill run here with Erdogan, tried to cut in there with the spin, we lose it. Then we pick it up again, we go with the scoop turn, then we go with another rainbow flick. For some reason he went with a header and therefore it was an, uh, it was an easy save for his goalkeeper. So the first half was just me trying to score from a rainbow flick really here, another chance here with Osio. Um, unfortunately we end up losing the ball there since the defender just got in our way but uh, then we get the ball back again with Ossia Coop. we got in there with a nice spin uh, then we continue on with the fake shot to another standing fake shot to a lovely Elastico uh, the 4 star skill Elastico and we do make it 3-0 a really really nice goal I can see as well from this uh, this goal that my opponent kind of went in just spamming slide tackle mode and that is actually something he did in the second half as well because from the following clips you will just see him trying to tackle me every single time I went on the attack and tried to score a skill goal and unfortunately I can't really do much about it. It does look stupid in certain situations. But as I said, I can't really do much about it. Then a 75th minute, we went through here with uh, Brown. We took out the goalkeeper. Then I went with a fancy shot. At least I tried to. But you can see he completely mishit the ball. I don't really know how he did not like put it in in a different way. Because you can clearly see he completely failed that one. Maybe it was because he doesn't have the flare trade. Anyway, we picked up the ball again with Erdogan. We went with the uh, rainbow flick. Then we ran to his defender. We pick it up with Brown. We go for a volley. But we end up hitting the post. So also a lot of chance in the second half to actually uh, complete the rainbow flick challenge. Uh, then we move on 82nd minute, Erdogan again, we picked up a penalty and it was just another another situation where my opponent just spammed with the slide tackles and uh, we do make it 4-0 with Sifji. Then uh, we're in the 89th minute, you can see from this clip as well, he just spammed slide tackles just every single time uh, I went with a skill run. And it's kind of frustrating though because if you actually score a really, really nice goal, it would look really, really dumb because you see so many players uh, on the ground really. And you can see as well from this clip, we picked up another penalty, Sifji uh, steps up for it. And he does make it 5-0 and that is also how the game ended. And uh, you can clearly see my opponent did not have like a proper chance in this game whatsoever. So um, yeah, we move on to the skillers up. And I uh, can see right there that we actually do have uh, 9 games left with Sifty. We're already on 12 goals, which is just amazing. He's just an absolute king in my opinion. If you never used him, definitely give him a try. And in terms of challenges, we actually have uh, two left. Uh, we've got the score a curve free kick and a score a rainbow flick one. Hopefully we can complete those in the next episode and then uh, move on to a uh, Makai Steven, his teammate, which of course is also a five-star skiller. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I have to thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.